it says here, I don't understand why a lion would represent Lucifer in the Lion of Yauda. Well, it doesn't represent Lucifer. It is a mix-up right there because remember that there are three Satans. Samael, Lucifer, and Azazel. Samael is the one that is represented by a lion. And it is a long story. There's a long story behind that. In short, when Yahweh made the third heaven was pretty much the time when he wanted to make an image of himself as when a father wants to have a son. And that's when what is called in Judaism Adan Kadmon or Mashiach was born within Yahweh's reality through the Ruach HaKodesh, which is his will. Through that power, the second heaven was created, which is pretty much space. And at that moment, time itself was created time and space was created at the same time that's why it says in Revelation uh, in Genesis 1 1 in the beginning that means time was created first in the beginning Elohim created the heavens that means space and the earth matter so first time then space then matter so after the human meaning Mashiach Yahushua have been uh, born and therefore this other space through that power that emanated from the father there was a ruach that of wisdom that wanted to do something similar to the man that Yahweh made so that spirit created apart from truth meaning apart from its counterpart just like when Eve took the fruit of knowledge apart from Adam the spirit decided to create a different entity similar to what Yahweh had made yet for many reasons doing it in a lower reality doing it apart from its head and other things ended up creating what we know as a malach an angel which looked like a lion so he was trying to do something like a human but got a lion so the lion was like an abomination for he was completely different than the human what and that's where the and like I said I didn't want to explain that much so I don't want to go that long with that explanation but that first angel was called Ariel or the lion of the most high it was like a pet in a sense but that pet thought since it was the only thing visible within its reality that it was all that existed and after heavens within that second reality were created and a bunch of other things and other malachim that came from it the first malach he thought he was the creator of all so he rebelled against the highest creator for he knew within him that Yahweh existed yet he w didn't want to recognize him so that's when the Almighty <clears throat> sent his light <clears throat> and took him down from that place of authority and gave that place to one of his children that being what people know nowadays as Lucifer Yahweh gave this other angel a light to control the reality the lower reality so Samael is the one that looks like a lion and since he was taken down from his place of authority as the first Satan to fall before man was created he has been trying to destroy Yahweh's plan by hurting humanity as a lion roaring looking around whom he may devour so the reference to Satan as a lion is making reference to Samael the first Satan to fall and the reason why also is because the lion is the king of the jungle Samael is pretty much the king of the, the angel who is ruler of the savage entities the crazy spiritual entities like demons for instance so the reason why we have the lion of Yauda and that other lion is because everything in this reality has a double way of seeing it as a positive and a negative for this reality was created through the number two that's why it says in Hebrew in the first verse of Genesis Bereshit bara Elohim in the beginning Elohim created so Bereshit is written with the second letter of the Aleph Bet the Hebrew alphabet 
and the second letter has the value of 2. Yahweh created this reality with the number 2 so that everything would have another part, a counterpart. That's why there's male and female, that's why there's hot and cold, up and down, right and left, etc, etc. So everything has a positive and a negative. That's why we were given, well, we ate of the fruit of knowledge of good and evil. So that we would come to know good and evil, but afterwards through Yahushua the truth regarding what is really good and what is really bad, not according to what our emotions or flesh tell us. So since there is a positive in this reality for everything and a negative for everything, the lion in the positive represents the Messiah as king of this world, this reality, which is a low reality like the jungle, while the enemy is like a lion trying to devour people. Hope that's clear. It says, I've heard this, but there are so many other choices to use. Is this like a positive or negative dwelling? Yeah. And it is in the scripture, so it's not like you heard some pastor just saying it. It is in scripture. 